Let's try to implement all the exercise tasks together at once. Uh, in order to do that, we have to clear out the interface a little bit uh, because why I am limited on the size of the area that I can show because of the video compression on YouTube. Um, you guys are not when you are working with NetLogo. You have a much larger area that you can work with. So I will get rid of this particular button, draw me a leg, because we don't need it anymore. And we'll move the setup button down and the go button to the side and together we'll move these down because we need to create two more sliders. Let's move these guys up and let's create the two sliders. The first of the sliders is the wait time that uh, will take place between executions of the go button and we'll need a slider for that and we'll put it over here. We'll call it wait time and the minimum would be uh, 0.01 and the maximum would be 0.1 with the increment being another 0 0.01. One one hundredth of a second between one one hundredth and one tenth of a second. Uh, let the intermediate be value be, be 0 0.05. And there we have a wait time. We'll move that up a little bit. And the other slider will be the number of turtles that we're going to create initially. So we'll call that number of turtles. Uh, remember that the global variable name cannot contain any spaces. We want at least one and uh, a maximum of let's say 20 with an increment of 1 and an initial value of let's say 5. Now we have to connect these sliders uh, values uh, to the actual code. We also want to get rid of the code that is inside the buttons and put that code into the code area up here. So let's first get rid of the um, code inside here. We'll just copy that and hit a control C and we'll put that here and and here we'll indent everything to make it look nice and the next one will be to install the setup routine over here instead of that code. So the setup button calls the setup routine. Go button also should not do that. It should simply draw a leg and that's what we're going to have it do. So we'll remove that. And now it's time to put the wait time and number of turtles into the code. So the wait time will come here. How long should we wait? We should wait the wait time. And in, in the setup, instead of creating one turtle, we'll create number of turtles here. And so these variables, number of turtles, will come from the slider and, and wait time will also come from the slider and step size and turn angle will also come from the slider and so now if we're going to create five turtles uh, we can march them and there they go we can lower the wait time and now notice that they're moving faster we can increase the wait time and they're moving slower. And we can change to like 12 turtles and we can watch them go. We can change the step size, make them go further. We can change the turn angle even while they're moving. And that's it.